Sailing Arabia the Tour is a 763 nautical mile offshore race. 72 sailors from across the world took to the waters in Muscat, Oman and raced up the coast to their first stop, Soha. Winners of leg one, 90% Omani crew Team Renaissance, celebrated with an evening of cultural delights. Hosted by the International Maritime College of Oman. The following day, the teams prepared themselves for leg two, a journey up the last stretch of Omani coast to Kasab on the Musandam Peninsula, renowned for its beauty. Leg two is um, pretty exciting. It's one of my favorite legs. So as we go up the coast, the, uh, the landscape gets more and more mountainous. I think uh, leg two is going to be uh, really uh, tough. There is mountains blocking the wind and the current against you. Our aim is to always better than the day before, so <laughs> at least six, but uh, we will see. The leg looks set to be tricky with plenty of challenges, starting with light winds and grey skies. So, Will, what do you think? What do I do here? We're in for the long run and uh, hopefully we can come out on top. Yeah. Five hours in and all eight teams were neck and neck. Eventually, the pack split and the battle came down to the wire for the podium top spots. But it wasn't to be for Team Zane, who narrowly missed out on third place to Team Renaissance. With Team Almuj Muscat in second, EFG Bank Monaco would take their first race win of the 2017 Tour. The feeling was not an easy one. Uh, we had a good, not a good start, but we, we achieved to come back in the game. It was a uh, hard leg for us and for all the boats, I think. Still a, a good uh, race, because second it's a good result. The teams were welcomed into the beautiful town of Kassab by the governor, who provided an evening of traditional Omani entertainment. Race organizers Oman Sale teamed up with new waste management company Averda for a successful beach cleanup in Muscat, Oman. The teams grabbed their bin liners once again and headed out onto the Kassab coastline to help keep it clean. Skipper of Team Adelasia de Torres, Caterina Nito, is passionate about protecting the environment and reducing the impact of rubbish on beautiful beaches all over the world. I spent five years of my life sailing with Greenpeace on Greenpeace ships and so I've been traveling around the world and I could see with my eyes how much garbage there is all over the world and it's not only if I, if I uh, throw something on the, on the ground here, it's not that it stays here, I can find it in Italy maybe in, in 20 years because of the ocean is going to, we are going to spread our dirty everywhere in the world. We are in an amazing place and it's really sad to see on a beach plastic bottles and this kind of stuff. This doesn't mean that it comes from, from people from here. One plastic bottle can come from the other side of the world. We found plastic bottles floating in Antarctica and the label was written in Spanish. So it doesn't mean that uh, the garbage that we find here is from Omani people. That It can be from all over the world. It, it's a matter of learning. We must learn that everything that we throw away, it comes back. And we can find it here on the beach. Leg three sees the teams race from the tip of the Omani Peninsula down the UAE coastline, past what will be their final stop in Dubai and on to Abu Dhabi. Team Zane has been in fourth place for the first two legs. A half amateur, half professional team, they have been doing the series now for three years and keep coming back for more. I think as amateur sailors you're always sailing in calm weather and sunshine. And then to go through some of this, uh, you know, big, big storms, it's been, uh, it's been really tough. 
we put together a sailing team comprising mostly of employees, most of whom who had hardly stepped on the boat before. We borrowed the services of two professional sailors, uh, Cedric Pouligny and Gerald Vignon, both of whom are really sort of top of their game. This year we've got a professional French uh, four-deck guy, Olivier uh, Guimy, who is, uh, has been an absolute revelation on the team. Uh, a demonstration of how to remain cool under pressure in storms and through breakages and all sorts. It's been, uh, he's been a great addition. After narrowly missing out on the podium twice, could they step up their game in leg three? The fleet set off from the Mussendam Peninsula in blue skies and 20 knot winds. The most beautiful start to a leg the tour has seen so far. Today's the perfect day to create our escape. And Almuj Muscat took an early lead. The but the fleet was tight, all within near touching distance of one another, right up until the finish. But it was EFG Bank Monaco who sailed into Abu Dhabi's Emirates Palace Marina in first place. It was a very nice one. We, we had a, a good start, good beginning around the old Musalan coast. It was incredible. They did very, uh, a very good job, faster than us, so maybe the next leg. With the top two steps on the podium taken, the third spot went to an ecstatic Team Zane. We just sailed through everybody. It was, it was absolutely fantastic. And then obviously the, the pros came through at the end and snuck it back. But crikey, you know, for a while we were actually in the front. It was amazing. With the longest legs still to come, can the teams at the top maintain their momentum as the fight for the trophy continues? <laughs> 